okay so let us continue to solve some more design problems related to designing a, a dfa for a given language that accepts a given language so the first uh, so the next question that uh, we are going to solve is like this design a dfa that to test whether a given language given string has 1101 as substring okay with the alphabet set assume the alphabet set as 0 comma 1 okay so so how will he, uh, uh, so how to find that a given string of zeros and ones have 1101 1, as a substring okay for example consider this string so for example uh, let us consider the string that is 1 0 1 1 0 1 suppose 1 0 so is this string uh, so this string should be accepted by the dfa we are going to design because this uh, this string contains a substring 1 1 0 1 understood so how will we proceed okay so suppose <coughs> Suppose I am in the starting state Q0. Okay. So let us take, so the string only contains 1101, suppose. Then it should, so on every acceptance of an input symbol, it should proceed to the next state. That is, it will accept Q1. Then from Q1, if it gets another one, it goes to Q2. And from Q2, it goes to Q3. If it gets a 0, and from Q3, it goes to QF, which is the final state. Okay. Now, let us decide for other input symbols in a given state what is going to happen. So, suppose I am in Q0. That means I haven't accepted any part of the substring. And I, I get a 0. Now, this 0 cannot take me towards acceptability because the starting substring is 1 okay so I should remain in Q0 understood because I cannot I cannot uh, reach towards acceptability I cannot go towards the final state if I get a I, if I am in Q0 and I get an input symbol 0 understood now suppose I am in Q1 okay that means what so I have already accepted one <coughs> first one of the substring 1101 okay <clears throat> so suppose I get a 0 that means the, the substring which so the new substring that I have already processed that I am processing is 10 and it does not belongs to 1101 so I will go back to Q0 understood so so if I am in Q0 I get a 0, I should remain in Q0 as it does not take me towards the final state. Similarly, if I am in Q1 and I get a 0, I should go back to Q0 because 1 0 does not belongs to, does not, uh, belongs to the substring 1101. Now, suppose I am in Q2. What happens? So, in Q2, that means I have already accepted 1 1 okay, and I will get a, another 1. Okay, so what does this mean? That means I, I am still as if I am I have still accepted one one of one one zero one. Understood? So suppose my string is like this one 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 zero one. Okay, so after after processing the two input symbols one one, I I reach at the state Q two, and the next symbol to process is the third one. Okay, but still I it may happen that that in the subsequent string I may encounter 1101 that means it is still satisfying that the 
that the substring I have already processed has two ones that is the starting two ones of the substring so so I will remain in Q2 understood now from Q2 so if zero, with 0 I go to Q3 now in Q3 what happens so in Q3 what I have accepted that is 1 1 0 1 a hey, 1 1 0 sorry and I am processing the next symbol so in Q3 if 1 happens then then where should it go so in Q3 as if if a 1 occurs then as if I should go back so understood so so if a 0 occurs so if a 0 occurs I'll I, I should I should go back to what to the initial state because it does not so so the the substring I have already processed is completely lost because 1100 cannot cannot is not a part of any means is not a part of the substring 1101 so so it should be rejected okay and with 1 it should go to QF now once I reach the final state I should accept all the strings because because any 1 or 0 comes I, I am satisfying the language because the language says that it should have at least one substring of 1101 okay so with 0 and 1 I should remain in QF so this is the way we create the state transition diagram for this problem then what is the next step we create the five double things so M is equal to Q Sigma Delta Q0 and F so what is my Q so Q is my Q0 Q1 Q2 Q3 and QF okay and what is my Sigma it is 0 and 1 what is my Q0 it is Q0 and what is my F it is only a single state that is QF okay now we should write the transition functions I think you can write yourself the transition functions that is so let me write it one or two you can complete that you can complete it later so delta of q0 comma 0 is what it is remaining at q0 delta of q0 comma 1 is q1 <coughs> so in this way you can complete the transition functions and hence the design is completed okay <coughs>